Hello everyone, Jan Snowboarder here with another Mineshaft video. Um, and today, uh, I have some stuff to show you. Because I've been working on Atlantis the past week. But I ran out of sand, like, really fast. And I started this little quarry. It's kind of like, uh, Ethos Quarry. And I started it, and, um... I came back here today, and I'm trying to get a lot more sand because I don't have any anymore. Like I'm I'm out I'm out of sand. Um, and I really need some more sand for the next project that I'm doing in Atlantis. So, like I said, I did a lot of work, a lot of work, and I know I showed you me clearing out uh, uh the rest of Atlantis last time, like I uh. I showed you guys burning the wool and showing that there was no nothing left, there's no water left. And I cleaned it up a lot and I made everything look good and I made a new a new like a room, a new branch off of it. And so I'm excited to show you guys that. And I was planning on coming to spawn and um I was planning on coming to spawn and killing another wither just because uh just because I wanted to regen but that didn't really work out so well I died with my looting sword and a bunch of other stuff so I was kinda it was like done I guess for right now on um hunting withers who knows cause today is um Today is Sunday, so I could kill another wither by when this is being uploaded on Wednesday, but uh, I'm not sure, because I don't know, I don't know how much I'll get uh, done by Wednesday, so who knows, I might kill another wither and uh, add that as well, but I am going to show you guys the rest of um, Atlantis and all the work that I've done. And I want to show you what we will be doing today. So I'll meet you back there. Okay, back to or uh, back at Atlantis, and this is what I've done. I've uh, grown some grass under here because I realized that uh, grass uh, can flourish um, when underwater. And then got some lapis under there. So this is like the centerpiece, the main attraction. And I, uh, I'm still in the process of putting ice right here. So now I could go really, really fast. And I jump really high. So what I've been just been doing is uh, just digging, uh, digging up the uh, floor, putting ice under, and then putting it back over. Cause I forgot to put the ice under when I was making the floor, so. Yeah, I've been doing that for a while. Um, I just came back from the uh, sand thing. Uh, they got a ton of sand. And I don't know why, but whenever this happens, like, well, I know why, because this should happen, but my frame rate just drops a lot when I'm recording. Not before, but just like right now. Probably because I've been using my computer a lot recently. Well, not recently. Just today, I've just been on my computer a lot. So it's, it probably just need it. Probably just needs to cool down, you know. Um. So I was thinking, I'm gonna do this tomorrow. But to you, it'll be like a second. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to start a farm. Oh yeah, another thing I did. Um, the island, I'm not gonna really use that anymore. So I made this pathway through the through the water, put some glowstone out there so you can kinda see. I'll probably put some farther back. I've been using a ton of glowstone. Um, I don't know, this room looks really bad. I'm probably gonna change it, but uh it's it's in like a like a you probably can't see it that well. Like it's in it's in a rock or like a a hill. 
So it was kind of a challenge of replacing the roof and everything so because water always fell down. And here's my tunnel. There used to be lava down here. Like this used to be a floor down. And then uh, you would have to walk on here and the lava would be down there. But someone, Mickey, changed it. So uh, there's no lava anywhere uh, there anymore. And I go up here. Um, and see that's blocked off. It says to take the stairs down there. Right down there. And uh, that's my nether track. So that's really what I've been up to the past few days. Um, it took a while. Like, I know it doesn't seem like that much, but it did take a while. Because I had to get all the sand. I made a few trips back to get sand. To, uh, get the glass. Uh, this glass. And I had to place dirt here and, like, do a bunch of stuff. And I'm not sure if I already said this, but... I don't think I did, but I tried to get another, uh, beacon. That didn't work out so well. Oh yeah, I did say that, and how I died a bunch of times. Um, so hopefully I might get another one before this comes out, but probably I'm not, because I'm probably just going to work on here. But I just really want that region. It would help so much. It would make life so much easier. It would be great. I'd like, I'd never die. I could never drown. I'm planning to put lily pads here. Um, yeah, but I'm not sure. It does look nice and blue, the way it is. But lily pads would look, it wouldn't look as good, um, I don't think. But who knows? That was my original plan, to put lily pads in, so I could walk on the, uh, water without having to swim through it. But that's what I did. Um, I'm probably going to make roads. Going out here, this is going to be, I think this is going to, oh, there's something behind here. I don't know what that's going to be yet. Um, then over here, this is going to be like a big door, or maybe not a big door, maybe like a little door, and then when you go through, you uh, get like Respiration 3, Aqua Affinity 1 helmets, and then like flippers. And uh, you go out and explore the ocean bottom. Oh, yeah, I remember now. This way, like, Atlantis is huge. But it's not big enough to, like, fit a ton of villagers. Well, it is, but it's not, like, it can't grow any more than it has, or than it than it is. So what I'm going to put here is um, a door. And I don't know how I'm going to do it, but I'm going to make pathways to different, like, houses that villagers are going to live in. Um, probably not domes, but probably cubes, but it's going to it's gonna look cool. It's probably going to be made out of ice and water, and villagers might not like it, but um, I'll just ship them down there. They don't have to breed themselves. Then that way it's going to be like explore the ocean bottom and then this way, this one, uh, it's going to be, you go out, uh, there is going to be like a pathway kind of like that one over there and it's going to lead to a bunch of farms and that's what we're going to do today. I'm going to make a ton of farms and it's going to have every single thing that you could farm in there are like crops and it always sounds like you know your standard like when you think of um, growing things you think of potatoes and carrots and wheat but then uh, I was just on Skype with Ricky we were talking about how it won't be that simple because we'll need like cocoa beans and cactuses and sugarcane and netherwort I think I'm going to grow another word here. Doesn't seem like an Atlantis thing, but uh, I'll just do it anyway. So yeah, I have to grow a bunch of nether ward. I have to find a place for that. And it's all going to be... It's all going to be uh, hard to get 
the my first materials for I don't know, it's just gonna hard be hard to uh plan out in space. Cause once you build a dome or something underwater, like that's it. You can't expand. Above ground you could just go a little bit like away from what you were building and I don't know, you could always expand when you're above ground. That's the hard part about being underwater. But I think uh, I think we could do it. Hey guys, I'm back and I worked on Atlantis a bit and I'm in one of these air bubbles that I find occasionally in the ocean. I really like them. They're amazing. Just a breath of fresh air just out of nowhere. So that's the island over there. You can see uh Am Marchie's vacation home, Ricky's vacation home and uh my hut. And I've been working on building this farm for a while now. And what I've like it took me a while to find out what this pathway was going to look like right here. And it looks like that. It's different than that square over there and it kind of goes up a little bit. And uh, I have some glowstone over there, and I kept some water here. I think it looks pretty good. Um, just might as well have some water inside of Atlantis. Um, so this is what the farm... I can't get in. This is what the farm is kind of going to look like, or the shape that it's going to take. Um, it's going to be really, really big. And, okay. Yeah. So this is it, and I'm just building it right now because I don't know. This is this is taking a really long time, like a really really long time. But I'm having fun doing it. I had to plan it out in a creative world, like to see how I was gonna build it and what was gonna be inside. I still don't know what's gonna be inside. I don't know if I should include mushrooms. I probably won't, because that's more of a takes place in a dark place this is like a this is gonna be bright and uh it's gonna be good so this is kind of what it's gonna look like it's gonna come up like shoot up right there and then kind of go around and then shoot back down kind of like a, a bunker shape like you know those bunkers that have like rounded roofs but straight walls at first it's kind of be like it's gonna be like that and yeah i'm gonna grow wheat and I don't know like carrots and potatoes uh, just a ton of uh, different plants um, I got some more glowstone because I was running out and this I realized building this in creative that this is going to be a huge build not quite to this scale but uh, it is gonna take a ton of glass like a lot of glass and it's gonna take time because there's a lot of plants and I want a lot of um, growing space so that might take a while I've already been kinda um, getting some glass but I think I need much more cuz I don't think it's gonna this much is gonna cut it I wish my uh, my sand generator still worked I miss that thing. Miss just like going down, getting some sand, and uh, coming out with like, like a whole inventory full of sandstone. Because I like to uh, turn the sand into sandstone sometimes right there. So yeah, I miss that. But I mean, they I guess they fixed the game. Like I don't know. I mean, I think it's just something that they had to do by uh, breaking sand generators. And it's not that bad. Now there's no easy way to get sand. I'm I'm sure there is some generator out there, but I really don't feel like building it. Like, it's not worth it. To me, at least. Um, it is gonna... This farm is going to, like... It's, I think, two blocks higher than the floor of Atlantis. And this one, this thing is like, I think a block and a half higher. So, I technically don't, like, I don't need this part. I just need it to start from here. Because that's where the floor is going to be. Um, it's going to be lined out with uh, stone bricks. 
or the uh, the outside of the uh, farm. It's gonna be stone bricks, like the pathways connecting the farms is gonna be stone bricks. And yeah, I'm probably probably not gonna record much um, much more of me just putting down glass, but I am going to uh, work on this a lot more because now I realize that I have to do so much and this like actually is going to take forever um, because there's there's just I need so much room and so much glass and a lot of time to to uh, get this done. This is no easy project, but when it's when it's done, it's gonna be really cool. I can promise you guys that. And the worst part's gonna be getting rid of the water. Building underwater, it's not that bad. But uh, actually taking dirt and putting it all in this space, I mean, it's gonna be a nightmare. Um. Thanks to M. Marchi, I got a care package because I don't feel like going all the way to spawn and all the way back. Uh, he gave me, it's in this chest, these two were nice of him, but uh, he gave me melon seeds and pumpkin seeds and cocoa beans and trees and stuff. So uh, that was really nice of him. And then he killed himself to uh, get back to spawn because not worth riding the rail all the way back there what I normally do when I have to get this spawn fast is I take an ender pearl and just like chuck it up there and then just flop down I don't wear um boots at my island I just wear a helmet okay so that's gonna be the farm and yeah that's pretty much it I mean Next time you see this, uh, next week, it's going to be hopefully a lot more done. Because I, I need to get to work on this. Like, look at the scale of this. It's going to have two farms. One on one side and one on the other. And then it's going to go all the way back there. Uh, until I run out of things to grow. And I'm not really sure how I'm going to... Um, grow melons and pumpkins because they grow kind of weird and I'm not sure I'm going to grow cocoa beans or uh, cactuses or sugarcane but I'll figure that out um, so yeah until next time I'll see you guys later